here with my January Ipsy bag. Um, I'm going to try to look at the camera. I'm getting used to my talent, so I feel like I'm looking at myself. I am doing it right now. So I'm going to try to look into the camera, but I'm getting used to my tablet. And I'm sorry this isn't in HD. Um, I'm being really slack on this video. I've worked all week, and I've just, I've had my bag for days, and I'm just now filming it. Um, so I've already seen it, obviously. I saw it when it was in my glam room um, updated, because, let's face it, the sneak peeks came out painfully slow this month. Um, so I just had to look. It's bad, I know. Um, but this month I was really kind of excited to see that it was a more towards skincare and hair care instead of makeup, which I know everyone subscribes to this to get the makeup samples and the full sizes and they're all about the makeup, but we got to remember skincare is just as important as the makeup we put on our face. Like you have to have a clear canvas, kind of like Michelle Fawn always says to start in like all of her tutorials, you have to have the, you have to start with a clear slate, a clear face. Um, I was a little skeptic about trying some because it's dangerous to switch up your skin routine once you have it right. Like, I was afraid once I tried some of this stuff, I was going to break out. Um, because sometimes I have sensitive skin to certain things. Uh, but so far, everything's been great. Um, and I gotta admit, when I saw my Glam Room update, I was a little bit disappointed because there was a couple things I really wanted. But um, my products seem to have been, like, so far, I've been trying them and I've really liked them so far. Anyways, super long introduction. I'm sorry. Let's get into the bag, okay? Um, first thing is this design. I think it's pretty cute. I think it's a cute little travel bag. I think um, it's like perfect for what it was, what the bag kind of was like, because it's showing like lotions and creams and like um, lipsticks, like little things like that. Um, it's like kind of vinyl-y. It kind of the smell of this bag is what my least favorite part about this was. It's got this really weird, someone mentioned like a mothball smell. It kind of does. Um, but it's like a vinyl, like it's like a, kind of like those arm floaties in the pool. Kind of like that. It's not too bad. It's okay. It's tolerable. The things inside the bag smelled great, so it's okay. All right. Filing it in the bag. Two minutes and 20 seconds in. Oh, I'm sorry. First thing that I'm grabbing is the Brio, Briogeo, Briogeo. We're going to try to zoom this in. Don't despair. Repair deep conditioning mask. Repairing mask for dry, damaged, or chemically treated hair. Don't despair. Repair is fortified with ultra hydrating avocado, sweet almond, and argan oils. Power conditioning rose hip oil and super hair essential vitamins. This unique conditioning complex helps increase hair elasticity to prevent breakage and promotes healthy shine. I have not used this yet. Um, I'm about to get in the shower, actually, because I just got off work and I feel disgusting. But um, I'm planning on using this. I just wanted time when I could actually enjoy my shower and not be rushing around. But it actually smells pretty good. And I think this is a really decent size. Like, this thing's completely full. And, I mean, it's it's pretty big. I think it'll, you like, I think it'll be worth several uses. And this is the Brio Geo, or Brio Geo, or... If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. <laughs> but I was excited about that because my hair, I, I get highlights sometimes and it, it just, I'm always looking for something that's going to make my hair feel better. Next thing that I see, I've already used one of these. Um, this might be my least favorite thing in the bag, but we'll see. Um, is these Proactive Mark Fading Pads. Um, these burned my face really bad when I tried it. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but then again, I mean, it's got the salic, I can't say it, salicylic acid in it. Um, so I figured it'd be pretty serious business, but it really burned when I put on my face. Um, my face was very red. It didn't last very long, but my face was really red. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm sorry. But, um, I mean, after the redness went away in the first little bit, like my skin felt fine. It really felt really clean. It's got a really clean scent to it. Um, I've never tried anything proactive before. I've been very fortunate to where I haven't had to try something that serious. Um, but, um, I mean, it was nice to try. I'll have to keep trying it. Hopefully the next couple times won't burn. Um, but this um, is supposed to, well, it doesn't say. But um, it's the it's the it's just the mark fading pads. I think it's supposed to get rid of like acne marks and things like that and clear pores really good. I mean, and my face did feel really clean. Um, next thing that I got 
was this Nourish Organic Lightweight Moisturizing Face Lotion, um, Argan and Rose Water. I like this stuff a lot. Um, I'm always a little skeptic about face lotions because you never know if they're like, I'm always afraid they're going to clog my pores, which I know they're meant specifically for your face. But, um, I don't know. It's just scary. I don't know. It seems thick. But this wasn't thick at all. It just felt really good. Um, the smell is nice. I would normally not like something scented on my face. But the smell doesn't last very long. And it just smells really good. And it rubs, it, rubs in really nice. Um, so I've really been enjoying this, actually. And I was really afraid I wasn't going to. Um, but, anyways. Anyways, moving on. Um, and it's actually got Moroccan argan oil in it, which is cool. I was afraid, I've never tried oils on my face because my face, I'm always afraid it's going to be oily anyways. So that was, I mean, that was a pleasant surprise. The next thing that I got was this Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil. And I got the color Pearl. And I was hoping I was going to get the penny one because I thought that would be better suited for me. Um, but I'm still... Still pretty good. I'm like still happy with it. I don't think you're going to be able to see this because it's so light. Let's put it in front of me. Um, but, I don't know. It doesn't, I mean, let me swatch a little bit for you and see if it shows up for you. Yep, not going to show up on camera. Um, it's very shimmery. It's really glittery. They said you can use it on the waterline and stuff. I probably wouldn't because it is so glittery. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to use this for, but... I'm sure I'll find something, um, but, I don't know, it's still a makeup sample, I'm sure someone will want it, I mean, my sister will probably try it or something, but for me, it was just a little too light, and I'm pretty sure you can use these as highlighters too, so maybe I'll try it as that, and maybe I'll learn to like it a little more, but I mean, it does, the color really is pretty, I mean, it really is, it's just really glittery, and the last thing in my, let's see, is that all my stuff I got? I hope so. The last thing that I got was this Mica Beauty Cosmetics um, Tinted Lip Balm in the color Fiesta. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I don't know if y'all can really like see it very good. This stuff. Um, originally I was afraid of the color, but I kind of like it now. I think it's fun, and it's a color I wouldn't have picked out on my own. Um, and it has pretty good staying power. It's I think it's dry. I don't think it's moisturizing at all. So I definitely would have to put a lip balm or something on over under this lip balm. Um, but I mean I'm pretty happy with the color and the quality of it. Um, I think the full size is like thirty dollars, and I think it comes with like you know those Kaylin Cosmetics like lip glosses and eyeliners and stuff that have like the thing on it that. I don't know, the brush that comes out of the lid. And so I think this is just a sample size, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I really liked it. I mean, I thought it was nice. It doesn't have a scent. It's, I, the only problem is it just makes my lips really dry. So this box, this um, bag wasn't my favorite bag, of course, because Ipsy has really brought it the past couple months. I mean, I've only been with them. This is my third bag with them. Um, but, I mean, overall, I really liked everything. I mean, it's stuff that I've never tried before. Which was the whole point of me signing up. I was like wanting to get out of my comfort zone. And I'm just like, I really think it's a great deal for $10, really. I mean, I got like, I can't get the lid on this. Um, I got like this cosmetic bag. I got the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask for my hair. I got these Proactive Wipes to try out. I got this Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow in Pearl. This Myco Beauty Cosmetics Lip Balm in the color Fiesta, which I really like, by the way. I just really like it. I don't know. Um, and this Nourish Organic Lightweight Moisturizing Face Lotion. I mean, I really think I got my money's worth. I'm happy with it. Some of the things were a little scary. I can't wait to try my hair conditioning mask, so I'll let you know what I think once I get that um, tried. But... I mean, overall, I'm happy with it. I mean, especially for a skin and hair themed bag pretty much this month. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and I'm not 100% sure, but maybe, oh no, I don't remember what the theme was. 
it was like 19 reasons or something but anyways my card is not right here I thought I had it with me maybe I dropped it I don't know um but it had a little thing that says what are you looking forward to most in um 2014 and for me I'm looking forward to getting married I'm getting married in June to my best friends um and it'll be like right when we're five months together and I'm just really excited so I'm really looking forward to that even though I've been super stressed lately trying to figure out how to plan this thing I'm running out of time um uh, but I'm looking forward to that and I mean this Ipsy bag I'm still pretty happy with it so for ten dollars a month you I mean it can't be beat it really can't but I think Birchbox won me over this month. And I know it's very rare you see Birchbox win over Ipsy with some people. But Birchbox won this month. But um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry I'm so delayed in putting this out. I've been so tired and I worked every day. Um, but let me know what you got in your Ipsy bags, you guys. I want to watch it. Um, if you have a video posted, let me know down in the comments. Um, and thank you to my new subscribers that I've gotten lately. I posted my Birchbox a little early last month. Um, and I got a whole lot of views, which I was really surprised about, and a lot of really sweet new friends and new subscribers and comments, and I'm just really thankful. But, um, have a great day. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy weekend. Alright, thanks. Bye.